Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to this Super Liminal Films, Super Liminal Games, MTG Arena Constructed event. It's been a little while since I've appeared on the channel in a pre-recorded video capacity, so I figured I would jump in and uh, play a little bit of Grixis Control, because that's the deck I've kind of really been liking. We'll actually take a look at the deck list here. Um, you know... The full four Nicol Bolas, uh, only one Doom Whisperer, because the time was all that I had, and now that I've sort of been playing the list like this, I actually kind of like only the one, because I really uh, don't want to rely on it. Um, I like my Nicol Bolas. So, uh, mana base is almost where I'd like it to be at this point, uh, Arena being what it is. I only have two Watery Grave, but, um, you know, making up the rest in basics, and I have the rest of the four ofs, so... We'll get there uh, pretty soon, but as it stands right now, I think this is um, a pretty good build. I am, I will admit, a little sick in recording this video, so <clears throat> if I cough like that, that's why. Let's go ahead and jump into this constructed event. We will pay in gold, because gold's easier to get. We'll select Grixis Control, and in we go. Don't necessarily know if I'm predicting the full wins here, but uh, we'll give it our best. It really depends on if we get up against a lot of the aggro decks, uh, if they curve out. Because if they don't curve out, we have a pretty good chance. If they do, um, I mean, this is a lot of blue mana. It casts Sinister to Sabotage, we're on the play, and then it goes has the mana for Eldest Reborn. So I think I'm going to keep this. Give our opponent the hello, and put a Steam Vince into play tapped. Our opponent, Sushi, just reminding me of how hungry I am. Perhaps I'll have to get some sushi after this. Okay, opponent has gone Mountain Island. That says to me that we are probably playing against the Drake's deck. Hmm. Drake's Phoenix, I guess. Well, all right. We'll just pass it up, and if they go for anything overly exceptional here, we'll hit it with a Sinister Sabotage. Nope, they're just going to pass it back. So we will, in turn, just pass it back. The longer they want to take, the better for us in the long run. Alright, so now, since we have five mana, I'm going to go ahead and hit Discovery Dispersal. want to draw some cards, maybe get some stuff out of the way. Nope, I like this that way, so... We'll keep that there, we'll keep that moment of craving on top. Opponent just not giving us much of anything there. Well, we will see. Oh, Nicol Bullish just landed. What do you got, opponent? Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Any minute now, bud. Sushi. This card's a mountain, man. Do I want to keep an Allander? Uh, I'm going to spell pierce this just because they have to almost tap down and not do anything else if they want to go that route. Yeah. Okay. So that's. That Lava Coil now cost them their entire turn, basically. And we can just get Nicole Bolas back with Eldest Reborn. So it seems that the opponent has a very reactive hand. Which... Oh, we can't get the Nicole Bolas back. It's exiled, because that's Lava Coil. Dan, Dan, Dan. You make the mistakes. Still fine, though. Dragon Skull, and pass it back. Okay, we have six mana and four of it is blue, so we have two counter spells. We will again just pass it back. We're sitting on a very reactive hand at this point, so... The opponent wants to tap down... All right, casts an Enigma Drake. I 
feel like I'm gonna, since we have two Sinister Sabotage, I will counter that. And we'll leave that in the Cobalt as the Ravager on top. Okay, right into their Disdainful Stroke. So they're playing the more controlling build of the Drake's deck. Go ahead and land the Eldest Reborn if they give it to us. Okay, they're gonna bounce their Eldest or bounce their Enigma Drake back to their hand so they don't lose a creature or a Planeswalker. Replay it. Discard a card. Doom Whisper, which will block pretty well. And then we'll get back the Nicole Bolas that they countered when the Eldest Reborn goes off next turn. And that should, since we have enough to transform it, allow us pretty close to locking this one up, to be honest. throw the block here because even if they want to pump that we have the moment of craving to shrink it no okay lava coil my doom whisper my dude that's also fine go ahead and surveil because we don't really need lands from here <coughs> pardon me i'm actually going to bin the star of extinction because really not necessary in this matchup and I'm going to bend the moment of craving, too. Because we're going to have their hand pretty much pretty well on lockdown. And we draw Nicol Bolas. Go to graveyard. Bolas. Make them discard the last card in their hand. And then... Go ahead and transform Nikki B here. Draw some cards. Actually. Yeah, let's steal a creature here. We can draw cards after this. And opponent concedes. Alright. Turns out having a Nickel Bolas Planeswalker is pretty good. Jump right back in for game two. <coughs> mm. Pardon me. It's just the worst. Come on, opponents. There we go. Aeneas, 22. 23. Okay. It's turn 2 Thought Erasure. Turn 4 Rituals, so if we need it, Nicole Ball is if we don't. And we're on the play again. We'll give Aeneas the hello. And we'll start with a tap seam vent, just like we did last game. Lay off a down catacomb there, and then we'll Thought Erase them. Start picking apart their hand. Okay, so we're... Oh, electrostatic field, I see. I'm going to take the risk factor. And we have five mana. I'm going to surveil that steam vents into the yard. So the creatures there are all going to look pretty nice under this Ritual of Soot.
I really want them to have drawn a land and, and overcommit into this so that I can really strip out their creatures with this ritual of soot. That would feel pretty nice. Especially if they attack with the Fanatical Firebrand. Which they did. Hmm. They seem stuck on land, so what I'm probably going to do is play this Watery Grave tapped and get a little greedy and thought erase them again. And take a easily castable burn spell out of the way, and I'll leave Discovery and Dispersal on top. <coughs> Hope they commit with some attack here, because now they can, if they land a Gitu Lava Runner, no. They're not playing into my wrath. Or they didn't realize that would have haste. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, there's the oops. I'm gonna go ahead and Ritual of Soot here. Clear that out. And then I'll Nicole Bolas next turn. Because then I can also cast Discovery. We're also one land off of being able to activate Nicole Bolas. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and do this now. Draw the steam vent. Because then... We can do a whole lot of different things uh, with old Nikki B here next turn. I'm uh, not going to block because I know they have the... <coughs> Pardon me, Wizard's Lightning. Okay, Pyromancer. Planeswalker. Oh, this is incredible. What do we got for creatures? I get an electrostatic field. I think I might actually get that electrostatic field out of their yard. Because now we can get incidental damage in. Ah, did just put the bolus in Wizard's Lightning range, which was a dumb thing to do. <clears throat> Didn't. <laughs> it was sitting right there on the board. Mm. All right. Not my wisest decision. Intercept. All right, we can counter two spells. So let's hope they... I mean, they've been stuck on land, and we've seen a ton of land. So, yep, sabotage that straight away. Get out of the way. Ah, there we go. That'll help. Hey, they found their third land. Go ahead and contempt the lava runner. Block the pyromancer. What you got, opponent? Land. Give me two more life, and we will block the Pyromancer. Alright, Ritual of Soot. Unnecessary as of yet. We'll let him try to commit a few more things to the board. Oh, Lava Runner, eh? Back down 
to six. Huh. Okay. Disinform their last card out. Okay. Ritual of Soot. And then we'll hold this mountain. How many lands have we seen? What? How many lands have we seen this game? One, two, three. Um, well, they get to draw their cards. Come on, deck. Not like this. I've seen half the land in the deck already, and well less than half of it. Alright, disinformation campaign. We'll draw us another card. is unfortunately a land. Yep. We are cold to a lightning strike. Or a wizard's lightning. Yep. Good game opponent. Well, leaving the Pobolus open to getting wizard's lightning that we knew about was dumb. Uh, also seeing, I think, 16 of our 25 land in the top third of our deck was pretty painful. A little more than a third of our deck was pretty painful. Okay, once again, we can Thought Erase on turn two. We've got Discovery, we've got the Eldest Reborn. Opponent is on the play, but I still think this is a keep. Give him a hello. Opponent's playing mono red. Yep. Hey, we got the hello back. Nice. We got the ritual. Let's hope we can get something good with this Thought Erasure. Again with the Electrostatic and Banefire. We'll take a Pyromancer. Golden Demise. Alright. <clears throat> Couldn't use that Golden Demise last game. Sure. I'll go to 13. And then we'll Golden Demise. Nicole Bolas out. Banefire. This feels a little bit better than the last game did. We managed to deplete their hand of resources. And we're going to take four here, but... Gone. And I'll keep the lava coil. Get back kill that electrostatic field. Alright, so we've Strip their hand. Gonna get back some creature, or get back a creature. Okay, Firebrand. It's fine. Go ahead and 
draw some cards here. Or, yeah. We will kill this fanatical firebrand. We're gonna get back. Oh, get you lava runner. Huh. How about that? That's gonna go off. We will get a Viashino Pyromancer. And deal two to our opponent. We will draw two cards. Which is Vraska's Contempt, which we'll use right now to gain some life. And that leaves up Sinister Sabotage for whatever spell they have. Be gone, Mountain. Alright. This one is, yep, pretty well in the bag. Okay, so when we don't leave our Nicole Bolas open to be killed, it's actually a lot easier to win games. What do we got? Nothing. Alright, two and one. Two and one, let's see if we can get there. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? Water, a grave, a sulfur falls, an island, two Nicole Balls, the Ravager, a moment of craving, a ritual soot. Yeah, on the play, we'll keep this. Opponent is mulligan to six. Hello, opponent. Enter the battlefield tapped. opponent has lit on island, a sign that keeping this moment of craving may not have been the right idea, unless they are on the blue aggro deck still. Merfolk, eh? Alright. Sorry, opponent. See what the discard. An island. Oh boy, they're probably looking for green mana. Played a lot of Merfolk. Yep, hey, they got it. Dragonborn Pioneer, alright. Yeah. Sorry, opponent, this is. Yeah. This is going to get worse before it gets better, opponent. Sure. Surveil here. See if we can get some chuffa out of the way. Fungal unnecessary right now. Spell pierce unnecessary right now. That's all I'm comfortable with for right now. We'll just do that once. We draw another Nicol Bolas. Let's tend them. What do you got, opponent? Blink of an eye? Nope. Disperse! Counter that. Damage, and we will rich 
which will assert away your creatures. And pass the turn. Yeah, sorry opponent. It's not the closed beta anymore. I just don't think Merfolk is where it's at anymore. I wish it was, because believe me, I'd still be playing it. But I just don't think Merfolk is where it was six months ago. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce our opponent's username this time. <coughs> mm. Pardon me. All right. It casts every spell in the hand. Uh, yeah. Okay. Seems all right. Opponent is already mulliganed. Also fine. Hello, opponent. Sorry, we're going to make your mulliganing worse when we cast this disinformation campaign. And that disinformation campaign. Ah, blue red. I mean, if they have a counter spell, I'm kind of fine with them using it on a disinformation campaign. Yeah, okay. Ionize. <clears throat> Especially when we draw another one. Play that out tapped. Play another disinformation campaign. Have you another counter spell? Wow, another Ionize. Okay. And they're going to be a smartass about it and say hello. Do you have the third counter spell? Owie's owie. Okay, they finally didn't have it. And they discard Beacon Bolt. Okay. So I'm a little in fear of Crackling Drake. Because Ritual of Soot doesn't kill it, but Enigma Drake here would be fine. Just pass it up here. Once again, seeing tons of land. We've seen eight. Yeah, eight. There's only the two distant person there. But hey, they want to give us the time. Sadly, we've reached the point where the spell pierce isn't actually doing much if they have a counter spell here. <clears throat> okay. Beacon Bolt only does three right now. Okay, Lightning Strike. We'll let that resolve. And we'll spell pierce that wizard's lightning. And that still won't do six. So they'd have to cast another spell before jumpstarting that beacon bolt. And they can't do that now. So they're going to get sixed. <clears throat> Pardon me. Cannot defeat this cough. Main fire with an X of six. Yeah, we'll surveil here. We'll get this steam vents out of the way, but we'll keep discovery and dispersal. Resolves. Not really much benefit when the opponent doesn't have anything to discard, but we'll cast spells. Get out of the way. Jeezu. Okay, Frask is content. So what, that's one, two, two, three, four, twelve lands, half of our lands. Let's 
thought erase. Yep, get rid of that. Bin that. Bring that disinformation back to hand. Cast it. Keep our card draw flowing. Come on, Nicol Bolas, where you at? Thousand Year Storm. I mean, we'll make him tap out for it. Well, not tap out, tap down. Sure. I mean, Beacon Bolt only deals damage to creatures. So, there's not exactly that much they can do here. Do we even have any gets for that? No creatures there. And no creatures there. So no. Nope. We'll just pass it on up. Oh boy. Yeah, this could get rough. This could get rough. Yeah. I'm just going to draw a lot of cards here. Yeah, answering Thousand Year Storm is going to be quite difficult for us. We've gone so deep and seen so many lands. Banefire is zero to start off the storm. I like it. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to opt. Time to sit back and enjoy the Thousand Year Storm. Oh boy. Yep, I think we're dead here, folks. Well done, opponent. <clears throat> well done. Thousand Year Storm. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Our hand was certainly not set up to defeat Thousand Year Storm. Okay. All right. Well, let's try that again. Man, Thousand Year Storm. I love that card. That was fun. I don't even mind losing to a card like that. Like, I just like Thousand Year Storm so much, so I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, on the draw, I want to be greedy, but I think we have to throw this back. Okay. This will do something. Yeah, that'll do. Opponent on a mulligan to five. Yeah, Wild Growth Walker is going to be annoying. Just need to strip out their hand. Um, maybe on the Steam Vents? and I will keep that there. This will draw a card next turn off disinformation campaign. Wow! <laughs> okay, well then. 
is our fourth win. All right, can we rip off three more? Alrighty, let's see what Bulk has for us. Bulka? Bulk? This is definitely a mulligan. This is black mana away from being a keep, so we'll keep it. A little bit of greed. Uh, top. Enters tapped. Mono red. Maybe. Discover. Black mana. Black mana. Black mana. Neither of you are black. Well, no. You're too expensive. Neither of you are black mana, but you're mana. Yeah, because if we can cast energy sabotage off of it. Black mana. Steamkin. Shit. Now, now we just need to counter whatever they play. <coughs> Doubly so if it's burn spell. This could go poorly for it. Yep. Get out. Get out. Sure. Black mana? Black mana. I'll put it in with Nickel Bolus. Card advantage at this point is about the only way we're going to win because Steam can represent so much card advantage for them. So. Hoping for a land off the top so we can slam this Eldest Reborn and make them sack a creature. Burn spell. Yep. Man. Just like they drew it up. Can't afford that coming into play untapped, so we'll strip out their hand that way. Factor. Hunter's tapped. <clears throat> and next turn we can Eldest Reborn. We're not quite at corner turn yet, but it's pretty close. Yeah, leave that Steamkin back. You don't want to deal with that. Okay. Wow. Fun just kind of had the nuts. We will make them sacrifice a creature. Yeah. Wow. Nice rip, opponent. Nice rip. Not going well for us, folks. Yeah. Yeah, we may just be dead here. We need a wrath, and we need one bad. You are not ritual of soot. You are also not Ritual of Soot. Man.
deck. What are you doing? Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, four and three. Not the best result, but uh, pre-boarded games, I don't know if this deck is necessarily all that great against Mono Red. And post-board, I'm pretty sure the, the match gets better. We'll put it that way. The match at least gets better. And the Thousand Year Storm deck, um, we are not really set up to face a deck like that. So, get our 500 gold. Some uncommon wild cards and a territorial Allosaurus. Big old dinos here. Wild Onslaught, Otopec Huntmaster, Territorial Allosaurus. Very green red. Well, everybody, thanks for checking that out. If you like what you saw here, please hit that subscribe button down below and do all the other social stuff that the YouTubers tell you to do. And right beneath me here in this video frame is our Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. Also down at the bottom, our website, if you like what you see, go check all that stuff out too. Bye, everybody.